13 on your side's Emily Scarlett is live at the border in Detroit with a look at what's changed and what you can expect the next time you cross. Emily. Kerr, good afternoon. That's right. We're at the Riverwalk in downtown Detroit. And behind me, you're looking at the Ambassador Bridge. This is actually the busiest international crossing in North America, so it will play a big role in this border reopening. And just to give you an idea of just how close we are to Canada, take a look right across the Detroit River. You're looking at Windsor, Ontario. So because of this close proximity, you've got a lot of relationships, a lot of people often traveling back and forth between these two areas. Areas, but that hasn't been the case over the last year and a half nearly because only essential travel was able to cross that border. Well, now that that has come to an end and non-essential travel is now once again able to cross over into Canada, there are some things you'll want to keep in mind if you're interested in going across. Travelers must be fully vaccinated 14 days prior to traveling and regardless of that vaccination status, you're still going to need to show proof of a negative COVID-19 test at least 72 hours before. So this, of course, leaving many questions for the young ones. Those 12 and under can still cross over, but they'll need to be with a vaccinated parent or guardian. A couple of other things that you'll want to keep in mind, they are still doing random testing at the border, so keep that in mind as well. Also keep in mind that once you are in Canada, you'll need to adhere to their guidelines, and this does include face coverings while in public. Now, you pro probably have also heard about a strike that happened here just a few days before the border was set to reopen. Thousands of Canadian border workers going on strike because of a contract dispute, and that caused many delays at that border crossing for that essential travel still able to go back and forth. We heard uh, several hours there were delays because of that border strike, and that also affected traffic in the nearby area of the border as well. But there was a, a deal that was reached late Friday night, so that traffic did subside throughout the weekend. A lot of people happy about that, and hopefully it doesn't cause any more issues throughout the day with that border again now open to non-essential travel. Now, it's not clear, though, at what point Canadians will be allowed to cross back over to the U.S. That is not allowed with today's border reopening. I'll send it back to you all.